Hello internet world, welcome to a new video on the Geek and Noise channel, a different video for you today because I am mining helium with this, the helium hotspot. Now this was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer for this video. No money's exchange hands by the way. I'm just gonna share with you my experience of using this over the past few weeks. I can't wait to show you what's inside the box and also explain to you exactly what this is. So this is my helium hotspot and it's a very cool little device. This is my little mining machine and I'm really proud of it. It's a, a great little product. Before I talk to you about what the helium network is and how everything works, let's take a look at the hardware. So this is the top and we've got a little LED light here as well. This just gives us some indications to the status of the hotspot. And then on the back here, we've got our connections. So this is the input for the power supply that you get inside the box. This is the little antenna. This is a three dB antenna. And you can remove this. You can uh, install the hotspot indoors, of course, and then you can put this antenna on, or you could put an external antenna on the device if you wanted. Uh, this is a three dB antenna. So this gives out the uh, sort of signal in a 360 degree radius. It connects via Wi-Fi to your network, or indeed if you are too far away from your Wi-Fi, then you can connect it via Ethernet. Uh, then we've got some little rubberized feet on the bottom. Uh, we've got a little button here. We've got some ventilation on this side, nothing on the front, and then more ventilation on this side. Uh, that is pretty much it when it comes to the hardware. I think these run sort of like a Raspberry Pi inside, obviously with some custom uh, software. Uh, it's a very neat little device and setting up is super, super easy. So let's have a brief look inside the app. And the app is very well laid out, first of all. This is like a checklist for uh, the Helium hotspot. So you can see here it's successfully and fully synced to the blockchain. Uh, it's also online and then it's created a challenge and it's also passed a challenge. Now there aren't many other hotspots around me so the further challenges like witnessing a challenge and the witness list and transferring data these have yet to complete and these will complete as and when the network grows. So when there's more hotspots around me, then I should be able to complete these challenges and gain more rewards as well. And also of course, help expand the network. So what you're seeing now is the Helium website. It's very well laid out, very easy to understand. And this was my first port of call when I was researching Helium. It's all about, uh, as the slogan says here, people powered networks. It's powered by the Helium blockchain. And the whole idea or premise behind this is to create a decentralized wireless infrastructure for Internet of Things devices or IoT devices to connect to. Things like, for example, and a very good example is like a dog tracker. So you might have a dog tracker on the collar of your dog and this would be able to connect to this uh, decentralized wireless infrastructure and make use of the network that the people have created by deploying these helium hotspots. Now you can get involved in various ways. You can mine, stake or use. Let's take a look at mine uh, because this is the what I've been doing with my little helium hotspot. There are various manufacturers that make these helium hotspots now. Uh, I happen to be featuring the original helium device in this video. It says here, a new kind of crypto miner. So mining HNT is done by installing a simple device on your office window, and that's it. Uh, that's what I am gonna be showing you in this video, which is the, the Helium hotspot is just plug and play. It uses five watts of energy, roughly, and it uses a LongFi technology to then connect to other hotspots and create the network. Now, there is a network map which we're going to be taking a look at very shortly but before we do so let's take a look at how many hotspots are out there you can see this growth on this chart of how many people are deploying these hotspots and at the time of doing this recording there are 29,946 hotspots 
Wow, 24,000 of those is online. Uh, 501 added in the last 24 hours, covering 4,098 cities and 69 countries. That's pretty impressive. Uh, you can see here where they're being deployed as well. Uh, London here has got 331 uh, in number seven spot or rank seven, 833 in Chicago. That's very, very exciting. Uh, let's take a look at the hotspot map and uh, you'll get an idea of how this network is growing. So looking at the map here, you can see all of the green dots are the online hotspots. And I think the red ones are ones that are offline at the moment. But if we just take a look at the United States of America and as we zoom in, you'll see that how dense some of these uh, hotspots are uh, sort of put into place. Wow, just look at this. We've got uh, East Chicago here and you've got various hotspots that you can click on to see uh, how they're performing. And then this cluster here in Chicago. Wow, this is so, so exciting. Uh, if we click on one, just an example, it shows us the name of the hotspot and uh, where it's located. And then we can click on view hotspot details and it will take us to a page where it's going to uh, give us some idea of how this is performing, including a look at the rewards and activity as well. So when we look at the activity section, you can see what it's actually doing. So it's doing challenges, witnessing, uh, mining rewards as well when it's getting a reward for uh, performing a particular challenge. And these rewards are in HMT, so helium coin. And these can be either kept, you can sort of uh, hold these coins and uh, they may well go up in value in the future or indeed you can change them into normal currency, sort of cash them out and actually earn physical money if you want to for, uh, for deploying a hotspot. It's all very exciting. If we look at rewards here, you'll see that in a highly populated area, over 30 days, you've got the ability to get around about 74 HNT. So if we go into Google and type in here price of HNT coin, you can see that the HNT price is currently $16.81 per coin. So if we put up our calculator and do 16 times 74, then that's $1,184 in a month for deploying a hotspot. That's in a very highly populated area though. Let's take a look at my use case scenario, which is a little bit different. So as you can see here on this portion of the map, things aren't so populated. There's very few hotspots around. Things are improving. There are new hotspots being delivered and deployed day by day, but there certainly is less activity. And this has a knock-on effect of how much you can earn. So if you take a look here at the challenges and the witnesses and also the mining rewards, they are obviously a lot, lot lower. And that's because there aren't as many hotspots deployed in my area. Um, we look at the rewards overall, and you can see that over the past 24 hours, it's 0 0.13 HNT or 1.32 HNT over the past couple of weeks. It's not quite completed the full 30 days yet. So if we bring up the calculator again and do 2.6 times $16.81, that's uh, going to come out at $43. Uh, $43 in the UK is roughly, so $43 in GBP is roughly about £30. So £30 per month reward for deploying uh, a miner in uh, a very sort of remote area, which isn't too bad. It's not fantastic. It means for return on investment, if you were purchasing one of these, is around about 10 to 12 months. And then you would start seeing uh, some actual profits. But a very, very interesting concept and just so, so exciting. Uh, these are some of the other HNT miners that are available. Uh, we've got one from Nebra, uh, an indoor and an outdoor one. Hopefully I'll be featuring this outdoor one in a future video. There's also a rack hotspot miner, which hopefully I'll be featuring. There's a bobcat miner and a synchro bit. So you could buy from any of these particular manufacturers and then deploy your hotspot onto the network. So in summary, 
you can earn HMT or Helium Coin by mining and building coverage for the people's network using compatible hotspots. I think it's very, very exciting and uh, I'm really enjoying uh, being part of this. If you want to check this out for yourself, then please do check out the links down in the video description. There's a link down there to the Helium website. And uh, I hope that you've got some questions and comments as well. Please do pop them in the comments section below. Thanks very much for watching everyone. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.